This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the payment terms list. Now, when your company submits an invoice to one of its customers, it is important that the invoice indicate when your company expects payment to be made from the customer. Now, there are many different types of payment terms. Some of the most popular payment terms are net 15, net 30 and net 60. Now the payment terms are decided by the company's accountant or management. Now here's an invoice for one of Joe's Landscaping's customer and in the terms field you will see net 15. What this means is Joe's Landscaping expects payment to be made within 15 days of the date of the invoice. Now when I click the drop down arrow in the terms field you will see that QuickBooks already has several default payment term options. Now here is a preview of the invoice that will be sent to the customer. And here is the terms field and in the terms field is net 15. So once again Joe's Landscaping is expecting the payment to be made within 15 days of the date of the invoice. So now we're going to add more payment terms options to the terms list. So click on the lists menu, go down to customer and vendor profile lists, then select terms list. Now as I previously stated, QuickBooks already has default payment terms options. So to add to this list, click the terms button at the bottom left, then click new. Or you can press control N on your keyboard. Now for this example, I'm going to use the standard option. But I will explain to you how to use the date driven option after I show you how to use the standard option. The difference between the two options is that in the date driven option, your company will specify a particular day of the month that it expects payment to be made. So if your company wants payment to be made on the 10th of every month, then you will type in the number 10. In the standard option, your company will specify how many days from the date of the invoice that it expects payment to be made. For example, if you create an invoice on the 10th of the month, then your company can specify that payment is to be made within 15 days from that date. And the standard option is used more than the date driven option. So let's get started by using the standard option. Now in the terms field, type in a name for the term. I do recommend that the name for the term matches the amount of days in which your company expects payment to be made from the customer. So I'm going to type in the term of net 45. In the net due in days field, type in the number of days in which your company expects payment. And this example is going to be 45, which matches the name of my term. Now, if your company wants to incentivize early payment, you can do so by offering a discount. So in the discount percentage is field, enter in the percentage of the discount. In this case, it's going to be 1%. Now, in the discount if paid within field, type in the number of days that the discount will be available. So I'm going to type in the number 10. So what this basically means is your company will offer a 1% discount if the payment is made within 10 days of the date of the invoice. Now those are all of the fields that will be used for the standard option. And now I'm going to show you how to use the date driven option. So in the net due before field, type in the day of the month for which you expect payment from your customers. In this example, I'm going to type in the number 21. Now there may be occasions when your customer will receive an invoice a day or two before the due date of the month. And in those cases, it is unlikely that the customer is going to be able to make payment before the due date of the month. So you should give your customers an option to make payment on or before the due date of the next month. So in the do the next month if issued within field, type in the number of days that you will allow your customer to receive the invoice prior to the due date and then let them make the payment on the next month. So I'm going to type in the number seven. And basically what this says is if the customer receives the invoice within seven days of the 21st of the month, then the customer is allowed to make the payment on or before the 21st of the following month. Now the date driven option also has a discount percentage if it's paid within a certain amount of time just as the standard option does. And you can use those options if you need to. So I'm going back to the standard option and after you have filled in all of the fields that are needed, click OK to save your changes. Now QuickBooks is going to bring you back to the payment terms list and here is the new payment term that we just created, net 45. 
Now let's create a new invoice and choose this payment term. So click the Create Invoice icon on the QuickBooks homepage and create your invoice as you normally would. In the Terms field, select the payment term. When you have completed your invoice, click Save and Close. Now here is a preview of the invoice that we just created. And in the Terms field, you'll see Net 45, which means that Joe's Landscaping expects payment to be made within 45 days from the date of the invoice. And that is how you create your payment terms list. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.